Hey friends, it's your favorite Madison. I'm back with another shopping haul review. So I did order another dress from Adderlina. My first review and my first um, thoughts of the first time I ordered from them were honestly surprising. I did spend, uh, I think, around $200 on a dress and it came in a tiny little package and I was extremely nervous about it, of how it would arrive as if the dress wouldn't arrive in as great of quality as it looks like online and everything like that. I would say I, my last dress I ordered a small and it was very form fitting and the measurements for a small are my exact size but someone commented on that other YouTube review saying that this website is a scam they never received their dress and things like that and it got me worried and I realized oh I ordered my dress two weeks ago and I haven't had a confirmation email I haven't received my dress and I actually reached out to Adderlina customer support and they let me know that sorry the dress is actually on back order so when I had ordered it it wouldn't even be shipped out until May 10th. I actually received the dress on May 13th. So their website was correct. I had pre-ordered the dress and that's why it took so long to get to me. And so they did not ship it out until May 10th and I received it three days later on May 13th. So the dress I had ordered this time, instead of ordering a small because it was very tight and I know I have gained around 10 pounds, um, my last dress was around $200, it was a size small, it was very tight and form fitting. So this time I ordered the Me and You mini dress and it's $179. I did order on sale, they're having a bunch of sales monthly. So for the same almost $200 mark price, this is the dress in this skinny little package. Once again it makes me nervous. Hopefully the medium does fit me, I did go slightly up a size just because I know I've gained 10 pounds and I haven't been working out. I just keep eating more delicious food. So, we open it. This is where I you know, start to feel comfortable. If we get into the Adderlina bag. Whew, it's still nervous every time I open this dress, but my last, my last review with Adderlina was very surprising and I absolutely loved, love, 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 love the dress I got. So, so far quality, wow quality of this dress, it may be polyester, I don't know, but um, oh they gave me a little note, but let me read it to you, it says, we are here to spoil you and make your life easy, if you are not happy with the purchases we will take any unwanted items back, this doesn't apply to any final sale items, it's important to note that return shipping costs and tracking ID are not covered by Adderlina when sent back. When sending back your unwanted items, we recommend using the local post office for the best service and tracking ID. It gives you the address and everything, order number to fill out. So basically, if I don't love this, I can just fill out this paper, mail it to the address they've provided, call it a day, and get my money back. So, this material of this dress honestly almost feels, it's not like scuba gear quite so like a very thin version of it so now I'm kind of curious and I'm looking into so it's a viscose viscose I don't really know but it, it's 100% viscose on the outside honestly any dress I've ever owned which a lot of bodycon dresses are made with this material they're always amazing quality and they last which I love but the inside lining is polyester um, it says dry clean or hand wash cold so so far, checking out this dress, I approve. The stitching is very nice. There's no loose stitching if, you, if you've if you ever shopped with um, other websites. But I, I'm a little scared because it almost seems like it's gonna be a little big. But it's supposed to be a baby doll dress. I've attached the photo so you can see. Oh, I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous it's gonna be too big because the last dress I got, which was a small, it was just extremely tight. Um, and so this time I got a medium just because I know I've gained weight. In like worst case scenario, I could pay to get it taken in. But I also know I could get the dress taken in because another reason of me ordering a medium is so that it's longer on me because the last dress I had was so short, it just kind of made me uncomfortable to wear it out. Like if I bent over just slightly, you would see everything or small which does fit me like perfect but slightly tight the only place it doesn't fit me is the, the length it's a 34 bust a 28 waist and a 38 around the bum and it honestly fits me perfectly other than the length of like where it 
I have a long torso, I guess. I'm not too sure. But the medium is a 35 bust, 29 waist, and 39 around the bum. Which I already know it's going to be big on me. And I'm probably going to have to get it taken in an inch. <sighs> but let me try it on. Let's see. Just let's see. I think the medium is the way to go. Just because it fits me in the length here. Oh my gosh, we're going to have to do a white test. Can, can you see my panties when I bend over? I feel like you actually kind of can. Like it was a very bright day. You can kind of see my panties slightly through it, which means nude panties. Um, but for the medium, I would say this actually fits really perfect, very well. It's just a little loose here, but it gives me enough breathing room. So if I go out to eat and I get like <sighs> really bloated, from eating a lot of food because I just love my food, you know. Um, I'm not wearing a bra with this. It is kind of like built in enough where I feel like I could go without a bra. But I don't know if I absolutely love this dress. Now, it is a little bit wrinkled for how they packaged it and how it came. But overall, I feel like if I put this with a cute pair of maybe like a crystal boot. I have like these crystal like tie heels and then my lovely go-to cocktail bag and I could do my hair real pretty. I feel like I could potentially love this dress. It's a great go-to dress for when I don't feel like getting dressed and then that way I put on one item, sandals, and do my hair kind of in a cute way like I could even do like just a very simple bun, have my makeup done, and then just put on some jewelry and call it a day and I will immediately look that much more classy or elevated and also be extremely comfortable. So I will say it is a very comfortable dress. Now I do feel like it's a little loose on my shoulders because it is just a little big. So this would happen, but I mean, I don't know if I'll be doing that in public, if I'll be like, <laughs> I don't think I'll be doing that in public. Um, I'm not wearing a bra. You can't wear a bra thing because then you'd see the strap in the back here because it is like a low top. Overall, I'd say the quality of it is very well made. Other than the fact that the only thing I don't like is I am wearing a dark thong. And you can actually kind of is it just me? No, you can definitely see. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like you can kind of see it. Or maybe you see the outline of it. I don't care, but like if you can see the darkness of like my thong, which I feel like you can very faintly see it. But once I iron out the dress, I feel like it'll be cute. I can just put on some pearl earrings. Some cute simple sandals or flip-flops like sandals like cute heels or sandals and really just elevate my look with this dress which this is kind of what I'm going for in the summer when I just want to wear a cool outfit like that's comfortable to wear in the hot weather and also look very classy and chic and I feel like just this one dress is very simple to do What I don't like, or what I don't love, is kind of this lining in the middle part, but I know that this also helps the dress kind of go flowy, but I'm thinking like once I iron it out and really see what it looks like from it, you know, being crumpled up in the shipping bag, I think I'll love it. And there's also those underskirts you can get that are kind of like ballerina tutus, and you just put them on and they help kind of flare your dresses out. So wearing that and just having it be slightly more like out, I think I might go purchase one of those from like Amazon or if I can find one at some, some storefront near me. I don't know where I'd go, some like ballerina store or something. <laughs> um, but overall, I'm kind of liking this dress. I think I like it more in the model, obviously. I am not model. 
but I could definitely dress it up. I'm just trying to now think what I can do to dress it up. I'm also not feeling my greatest right now, so I think I'm just being dealing with imposter syndrome where I just hate myself in anything I'm wearing currently. It's just that time, ladies, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I just feel uncomfortable in my own skin. Um, no, I think overall, honest, honestly, with Adelina, I hate the way they ship items, but it is obviously cheaper to ship items when they put it in those small bags rather than a box. Hopefully someday they upgrade into actually putting it in a nice thin, like, cardboard box and shipping it. However, the dress overall is made very nice. Um, my last dress, it was like built-in cups, which I love my last dress a whole lot more. I just wish it was slightly more long. Just because I guess I have a long torso, so the medium fits me in the length to my own comfortability. To the fact that I can like bend over and still feel comfortable and not showing all my lady parts. Because my other dress I ordered, if you, I'll tag it in the comments below in the description so you can actually watch that video if you're interested. I literally could not bend over like this or do one little slight move. It would be all out there. I did wear that dress out in public. I got so many compliments. It was just very like self-conscious the whole night of being like, I have to be careful where I'm going and what I'm doing, you know? Overall, will I make another purchase from Adelina after this purchase? Yes, I already know I am. Just because what I do order does arrive, and it is what is pictures on the, pictured on the website, I just, I feel like for me to love this dress, I may have to get it taken in, and just like literally an inch, so like in half an inch on each side. And I think it is like a cute baby doll dress, so once I do that and it's like tight around my waist, and the skirt stays big and flowy like that, I'll love it instead of it just being like... Like I said, I think I'm just having imposter syndrome right now and really hating myself. It's just that time, you understand, ladies. And I'm just not loving myself. But, um, no, overall. What I saw on the website and what I had ordered did arrive. Now, is this dress worth, like, $180? I would say no. It's not. I know I agree, Anna. <laughs> but overall... Am I going to make another purchase from Adelina? I probably will. Three times the charm, you know. And then... I'll definitely share that review with you guys. And at that point, I think I will make my ultimate decision whether I absolutely love Adelina or not. But no, I think this dress will actually be super cute once I try it on. Again, on a day I'm not feeling so hot flashes and just exhausted. <laughs> and I have like a cute pair of heels on and a bag to go with it. And my hair is not like bothering me, touching me. You know, just one of those days. Um, but no, overall, I think this dress is well made. I just kind of hate how it's wrinkly right now. Clearly, I can fix all that. And I'm really loving the baby doll dresses right now. Just, it's like I can put on some, you know, just sandals, cute sandals, that little decoration on them. Get a cute little mini bag, put in some earrings, do my hair, do my makeup, and just go out for a day. And it's a very comfy outfit. It's at a very comfortable length where I don't feel uncomfortable walking around in like a mini dress. But I feel like you can make it casual and you can also make it super classy. So I could wear it in the daytime running errands. I can wear it nighttime going out for a nice dinner. And those are clothing items that I think are must haves and that I absolutely love because it's just a very versatile outfit. You know, a couple years ago everyone said every woman should have a little black dress. I think every woman should have a little white dress. It's just a little bit more classy and more elegant and like I said you could dress it up you could dress down you can make it casual you can make it fancy we love it so even if you get like little cute sheer like breakfast at Tiffany gloves we love that that's how extra I'm trying to go you know 
Can I make it casual? Can I make it extremely classy? I think I actually may turn that into another video with you guys. And if you think that's a good idea to show you how to, I can do it with like maybe, I'll try to do it with three different outfits on two different ways to style the same exact outfit and turning each outfit into a casual look or a more elevated look. If you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments so I know I could spend my time creating that for you guys. Um, but I think clothing items that you can basically wear casually or dress it up and it looks really fancy are important to have in your wardrobe because more bang for your buck, you know, not all of us have the money to spend on lots and lots of clothing. But this is like my first clothing purchase since I got my last dress months ago. And I loved it so much that I was like, oh, there are a few other dresses that I would love to have from Adderlina. The problem is they seem extremely short, which I am a size small where it fits me like perfect. But the length of it is not long enough for me. And I'm only five, six and a half, but I just say I'm five, seven to make it easy. Um, and the medium just fits me perfectly because I have a very long torso, like clearly from my neck to like my boobs. I feel like it's a, it's a lot of space. It's like a whole foot. And then I have like a whole another foot and a half until my lady parts start, which means my butt doesn't end until way down here. So yeah, guys, just sharing my life with you. <laughs> okay, well, let me know what you think about this video. If I didn't answer any questions you may possibly have about Adderlina, I'll try to answer them to you in the comments. Like I said, I'm just not feeling my best right now, but I did want to shoot a video and show you guys because I really just wanted to open this package, but I wanted to open it on camera for you guys and really show you like fresh out the shipping package, what this dress looks like, what I think about it immediately when I put it on. Um, like I said, the out layer is made with viscose, viscose and the inside is polyester. This zipper, it doesn't have a smell either. Like it doesn't have like a chemical smell like some. The, the zipper is made really nice, honestly. So you know, it's like, it's not made cheap. So I've shopped with Fashion Nova and other websites, but it's made very well. It's not like a cheap zipper. It just got caught in the tag. That's all right there. Um, and it doesn't have a chemical smell to it or anything like that. So, so far, my experience with Adderlina is that I do trust it. I do get what I receive that's pictured on the website. I just think their sizing guide is off a bit. Um, but with that, will I order from them again? Yes, I will. Because I already know what other dress I am going to purchase if it ever comes back in stock. But most of the things I want, they're out of my size. So I have to like wait. And then clearly I don't like purchasing things unless I can get it for a discount. So if they have like a 50 to 80% off, then I'll purchase it. Cause I don't like spending $200 on what I think is a very simple dress like this. And it's not a silk dress. It's nothing extremely fancy. It's viscose and polyester. Thank you friends for watching. And I, I really do love it. It kind of gives me like a little ballerina vibe. And I really do like it. And like I said, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can make it casual, you can make it classy and fancy, which I love. So if you're interested in that, if you have any questions you want me to answer for you, let me know. But thank you all for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye, love you.